Uh, new flats there. Uh, there's the village over there. Yeah, a rainy lot while you're in. Yeah, so it's Friday morning. Uh, just taking the dogs out for a walk at the moment. It's a little bit rainy. <coughs> Uh, so I'm going to use the day, do a bit of editing, catch up on some of their videos. I need to finish, and uh, that's about it at the moment. Probably going to have a little wander to the village in a minute, if the dogs will let me. Come on, guys. Come on. You're not too interesting. Just heading down to the village and hopefully we're going to meet up with Bob and Aileen. We hope so, yeah. Don't we? And Connie yep. and Macy. Yep. The village is over there. It's about, well you reckon it's a 15 minute walk. To the place that we're aiming to go to. You okay. Know, coaching horses. Yeah. Just going to drop the rubbish off. <laughs> the bins are the other side of the campsite, aren't they? Poppy's on her way. As soon as I say that, she stops. <laughs> yeah, that's the hotel there. There was a bit of a party going on last night. I assume it was for hotel guests. There's a load of people out on their canoes, paddle boards, whatever. Oh, it's 179.9. I thought it was cheaper last night. Perhaps I was imagining it. Yeah, I was hoping maybe, yeah. Seems to be about standard now, 179.9. Yeah, it was 180. Yeah. Okay, that's the old toll house, apparently. There must have been a toll on this road then. We well, remember the old road coming along here, don't we? But never that long ago that we had to pay a toll. Yeah. It's a bit uh, busier than it was last night when I was down here. Yep. Now, I know it was a model village of its time, created by James Col Colhoun to house the workers of the slate quarries. been called the most beautiful village in Scotland and that's the bit that's the bit I was telling you about legend has it the local Baroness the 14th century died in France visiting her husband the body was sent home covered in fleur-de-lis the flowers took root here and have grown ever since during the plague the flower gained credit for warding it off and the village came to be known by its miraculous flower fleur-de-lis was shortened to less Time. Yeah. Yeah. I'll freeze frame that. Vikings were here. Fish and chips in the village hall. Down there. So those in the window. <laughs> <laughs> Island coos. Alien, alien Another one pops me. They're not bothered, are you? <laughs> OK, 
general stores. Yeah, it is lovely here. Bobby, we're going this way. So we're going? Just down there. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Uh, Glyn didn't think much oh. of that. Mm. Open site. Oh, that's alright, a load, load of lettuce. I'm hoping to see what the seeds are or whatever in the. Oh, I don't know. Any chai seeds? No idea. <laughs> Probably chai seeds. Okay, that was a nice little, uh, very nice sandwich. And we had a. What do you have? A stokey. Stokey, yeah. Stokey, yeah, that was very nice. And dog friendly inside. Yeah, so this is the uh, Lust Parish Church. I don't think we've ever come down here. Very impressive. You know why Lust is here? This is the church has 15 listed. Hey! <laughs> Church has 15 listed ancient <laughs> monuments. Among the church relics are the ancient stone font and expressive medieval effigy of St. Kessog. It's a rare Viking hogback stone seen left in the graveyard, which could date from Loch Lomond raid of 1263 when the Vikings pillaged and settled on the loch side. Now, we're we'll bursting into song. Came from by young oh. Bannett Bonnie Banks and by young Bonnie Braves. No. <laughs> Let's go and have a look in the church. Hogstone. Viking Hogstone. Uh, 1804. We seem, always seem to end up looking at graveyards, don't we? We'll find any ancestors here. Uh, no, we? never know. You never know. Never know. Okay. Might be some Donaldsons here. Yeah, well, it could be. Yeah. Do with Maxwell. Yeah. This is the Viking stone. Wow. Sir James Calhoun. There's music playing. So when they have weddings, the, the bride comes in that way, that gate. Yes, Bob said he went to a wedding here, didn't he? Yeah. Well, very nice. The river down there. Oh, wow. Quite amazing. Look at that. Here we go. The Margaret Donaldson on there. The Margaret Donaldson, where? On the main one in the middle there. Oh, there you go. Maybe an ancestor. Yeah. Here lies the corpse of Mr. Duncan Gilchrist, Minister of Lust, who departs his life. 1716, age 45 years, this gravestone led here by order of Mrs. Margaret Donaldson, his spouse. Okay. That's all the ministers in there. Yeah. That's a great thing, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. 1782. Oh, it must have had some sort of crest on it. Yeah, or a cross. What a place to be buried, eh? Come on, come on.
Have they getting interred here then, Bob? There's a little guy's commentary in the boat there. Yeah. Oh, all oh, right. You can hear it on. You can hear it there for you. Yeah. It's down there, the bottom of the road. Quiet place. Oh, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Grave of Arthur Strange Cattendike, David Archibald Gore, the th uh, five, six, seven, eighth Earl of Arran, and his wife, Ryde Collahone, Countess of Arran, powerboat champion, achieved world record 103 miles an hour on Lake Windermere in 1979. I did it for Scotland. <laughs> Well done. That's Mrs. Cam yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, his wife, yeah. Will Ian Colquhoun of Loss, age 19. That's sad. But what a place. I think you see the other one taking off. Yeah, bring your paddle board then. I forgot to bring my sup, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speedboat tours. Go to Rob Roy's cave. Yeah, it's this adult Highland Explorer is 18 pounds, an adult. From the Balham Balmaha Explorer. It's the eastern shore. That's 18 pounds as well. Off they go. <laughs> yeah, perhaps you fancy that? You're not so sure. Or the uh Yeah. Oh God, <laughs> I nearly died myself then. <laughs> Brave people out there in the swimming costumes. Lovely to catch up with Bob and Aileen, so uh, thanks for coming over. It was nice to see you, and a nice little meal and a little chat. And uh, they've headed off home, only 40 odd miles for them. But uh, I've got the scenery, I've still got a bit more editing to do. Uh, editing, what am I editing now? I can't remember what I'm editing now. Uh, oh, the arriving here video, yeah, so I'm doing that. Uh, so I'll finish that off. Just wanted to mention that sat nav holder. I don't think I've mentioned that before. Oh, I'll just climb over you. Yeah, so the little phone holder that comes with the van goes flat. I didn't really realise that. So I've managed to put the Garmin, um, what's it called? Non-friction mount holder 
on there and uh, sat nav works really well in that sort of position. Mm, both see it very clearly. I can get to it to, um, you know, get to it to, pro it to program, program it, it or yeah. change anything. And I can both see it. Yeah, so not ideal good. with only you being able to see it, I mean, not to no. reach it. No, and it's a little bit too low down in those wells at the front there. Yeah. But yeah, I think you can on the Ford transit you can specify the Ford unit but I've no idea how good that is. Anyway that works quite well. It's nice to have Mrs Satnag with us. Yeah, yeah.